Well, Jamie, congratulations. Three points on the road, top of the table, 100% record. It doesn't feel any better than that, does it? No, it's uh, thank you. It's uh, We wanted to start with three wins and we've done it. It was uh, tough at times tonight. Um, we've got things to work on, we can see that, but we're still winning games and um, credit to all the lads. They, they left it all out there and we've got that late goal and I thought the goal was fantastic um, to win the game. Is it one of those performances where, or one of those sides where you come to, where you just can't take anything for granted? Yeah, exactly. I think people have had us down favourites before the game, but coming here on the Astro, uh, where they're used to playing, and to credit to them, they were really organised and I thought they caused us problems, but we couldn't break them down. Um, so happy to get out with the three points and I think Griggy getting that goal is the difference, it's a great finish and a great goal from us. It's a different kind of sort of performance from the first two games. It was a little bit more gung ho, wasn't it? Today you had to find a little bit more steel about the side. Yeah, definitely. We weren't quite at it. Uh, I think first half, and um, uh, you can make excuses with the surface or whatever, but it, it shows credit to the credit to the lads, the character to come through and just keep playing, keep chipping away. And if it's not going your way, we've we've still come away with a win, which is shows that it's a good sign for us. A couple of first starts for uh, James Berry and uh, Michael Jacobs as well. Obviously, different ends of the age scale for those two, but two quality players. And what, what did you make of those performances? Yeah, definitely both of them. Great quality. You can see the quality we're bringing in. Recruitment is, is class from the club. Um, Berry's ex very exciting. Great lad. Um, really happy with his cross for now as his goal. It's great quality. But he made that by driving at the player in the first place. You can see that. got that excitement. And then, obviously, Crackers, Jacobs. Um, um, just an unbelievable player, and he just knows knows what he's doing. Good in the ten, just brings that experience and that quality around the goal. What we need. Obviously, the, the first goal came from from Naylor, but you got up to a couple of chances yourself, didn't you, from set pieces? Is that something that you've been working on? Because uh, last week's goal against the, the opening goal for Tyrone Williams was yeah. very similar to the, the West Brom goal, wasn't it, uh, back in January? Yeah, um, it's something I've, 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 I like to think I'm quite good in both boxes. It's just need to get that final product like today I'm a bit disappointed that I've not hit the target with a few of my chances and it'll come um, I'm disappointed I didn't score against Dorkin I had two cleared off the line and Creeper made a good save so as long as I keep threatening I'll be there popping up with goals I think if we're going to do well this season centre half defenders need to chip in with a few set piece goals and my goal is to get, get a few this year so I'm, I'm working on it and hopefully one of them will go into Let's have a talk about Will Grigg as well the right man in the right place as well and that's what the quality that he's brought to the to the team, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I think what goes amiss when people talk about him is his work rate. He works tirelessly, chasing them down, and that gets up the pitch. And deserved his goal today. He's run his socks off, and then he's been in the right spot at the right time. But I think DJ Darren Oldacre has been incredible in training. He's waiting for his time, waiting for his chance. He's really disappointed he's not played, but the quality he brings in training is incredible. And you saw that with that assist today. Just, just the awareness of him to find Griggy in the box is incredible. So credit to him for keeping his head and training well. Supporters today, plenty of number as well for a Tuesday night. I know it's the school holidays, but still, it's a two and a half hour journey, isn't it? So It's incredible. Like, filed as well, We've travelled in numbers. I've must have had a good weekend in Blackpool. Um, so I, just, I can just only say thank you. Um, it, it drives us on. We need that goal at the end and they're sucking the ball in the net. It's, it's fantastic. And, I know it's cliches, but a 12th man, they keep travelling like that. We keep doing well and it just drives us on. So thank you for all your support. On to Saturday, Oldham, a bit of revenge for last season, perhaps. You know, Chisville played really well in that game and lost, didn't they? So um, so maybe maybe so in front of the cameras as well. Early start on a Saturday, all set up quite nicely, isn't it? Yeah, we're excited. Um, we said before the game tonight, it's like we've got a job to do here. This is what we're focused on now. but. Saturday takes care of itself. We uh, we're looking forward to it. Like we said, we probably one of our it sounds mad, one of our better performances on the ball when we played at home. But we conceded that one sloppy goal and the ball just wouldn't go in the net. So um, we're excited for it. We're going to go work on a few things again. We keep getting better. Like the gaffer keeps saying, we're a, we're a new team. We've got new players who're not quite gelling at the moment. But when it clicks, I think we're going to be very good.